Oh, fabulous. Yes, I am live. Good afternoon. Marie from Messium Creations. Hi, Ali. Hi, Babs. Oh, dear. Let's get the volume off on there. That's not going to be good, is it? So, I am playing with Wreath Builder today. Now, this has a Happy Easter and a Merry Christmas option. I am not using either of those just now. Easter's some way off, um, and uh, as is Christmas. And the world is going to be a different place after Christmas. So what I have pre-done is um, some die cutting, um, and I'm going to play around with the die cutting bits and do a bit of stamping and the only problem with these is they all get tangled up so you have to be a little bit careful so i'm um, using the in colors and the rainbow glimmer paper so that gives me a kind of ombre effect across the jade greens there into the kind of the yellows i've cut out some little flowers and ribbons and the ribbons i've done in some of the glimmer paper as well so uh, I think I've used the uh, Rainbow Glimmer previously and in of itself it can look a little bit uh, crazy in a whole sheet but once you start cutting it up, absolutely amazing and coordinates with many of our colours so that's a fantastic thing. Um, and then I also kind of brought into the mix some of the gold um, laser things because I thought I could cut those up and add a little bit of detail so we'll play around with that so let's see where we go so hopefully everybody managed to stay dry today I was going out to the post office and then the heavens opened and I decided I was not going out to the post office anymore so yeah they absolutely it absolutely hoofed it down um, although uh, the advantage of that is I don't have to water the garden later, so. So yeah, just going to play around. There's a variety of different kind of flowers and things and a little bird. So let's see, catalogue gives us, the catalogue interestingly doesn't use the bird at all. The catalogue's got an Easter kind of themed one, a thanks themed one, and then a Happy Heart Day one, so it doesn't use the bird, so we shall see. I'm using the, oh sorry, <laughs> I'm using the small note cards again as well. I quite like the size of the little note cards. So I've got some little bits I need to poke out on this wreath. So it's going to be a case of just assembling and seeing, see what happens. I've got a number of stamps out in case I want some extra bits because I think I would like the bird and obviously a greeting. I think a greeting would be nice in the centre of the wreath. But yeah, there's, there is lots of, well not lots, there's some little bits that just need poking out. But they fit rather nicely onto a note card and actually I need to do the greeting before I do anything else. So it's in problem with die cutting lots of bits is you do end up in a bit of a pickle. So there's a little oh there's a little stamp that's now stuck to everything. There's a little I can only describe it as kind of a little box. So what I'm going to do, so we've got jade for that. I'm probably going to go with a bumblebee. Well, actually, I'm going to go a bumblebee background and cinnamon cider writing. But I don't want the background to be too dark, so I'm stamping that off once. And I'm going to place that pretty much in the middle. So we've got a second generation little block there. That's quite an interesting little texture to that. Because I'm going to, on my wreath, I'm going to think put all the kind of 
bumblebee and ombre type thing because that kind of goes through. So I'm going to have give thanks in the middle. So the give thanks is going to be in the cinnamon cider. I kind of have been focusing on the new colours this week because I haven't really played with them so I wanted to see what I can do with them. So then, so that almost fits perfectly. And then I just think it'd be quite fun just to add a few little, oh there's a one of the little thingies hasn't come out of that. So I think if I stick to the what, plaster on my thumb and everything sticking to the plaster on my thumb as well as oh it's always a better challenge, isn't it? So then it's whether I bunch all the flowers together in one corner because there's several that's quite cute isn't it several different sizes of flower they're rather fabulous in the magenta I have to say but it's not normally the way I would <coughs> recommend stamping I would normally recommend stamping and then uh, yeah stamping and then cutting but as I've already cut these, I'm just going to add a bit of detail on the top with the cinnamon cider. So I'm not too worried about how... Oh, that's almost perfect. So I think I'm going to do a little collection of flowers in that top corner. And maybe... How's about... What have I got here? We could do... Maybe a couple round where the bow is. Not that one then. I might just focus with them being in that top corner and just a simple bow at the bottom there. We could double layer. Then I watched um, a colleague Tara doing a live this morning and she doesn't, she literally only cuts what she needs for a project but I am very definitely in the oh no I know what I can do I'm definitely in the school of I am better off having lots of bits cut and then working with those cut pieces rather than creating because I kind of in in my mind I like to have a whole variety of things to pick from so essentially you work in the way that works best for you and that again is the joy of crafting so what I'm thinking is we could that's a bit big I think but we could no, that doesn't fit. Have a little bit of gold poking out as well. So yeah, I'm definitely better off having all the bits cut and then just having a play. So I think I'm going to glue down my wreath and then going to pop things on and I'm going to use some dimensionals to get some uh... oh hi Kim uh, dimensionals to get some dimension in so with my new pot of um, glue do you know what I haven't got I haven't got my glasses that's really not going to help me god it's terrible when you go I don't know I've got my new pot of glue and it's not so I just want the tiniest little dots on a few of these areas. So, so just stamp the greeting directly <coughs> onto the card. 
So that's in its kind of simplest form. So yeah, this is a die cut, so it does require a big shot or alternative type of machine. Ours, I think, is coming out in August. It is in the catalogue, but still in production. And this, I believe, needs the full size needs the full size unit so on our dies in the catalogue you'll see that some say mini on them so they will fit into the new mini cutter but that's not going to be available for a little while so hopefully uh, everybody's fit well and most importantly dry I couldn't believe the way the rain came down it wasn't great because David was out and I can't reach the Velux window so I'm running around the house trying to find a long enough pole <laughs> to shut the Velux window so that the whole house didn't get completely and utterly sewed <clears throat> which thankfully I did manage <clears throat> now you know what sods law is going to dictate let us see <gasps> I have one it's too exciting what I'm hoping we do little mini dimensionals and I'm hoping a little mini one will sit oh it's like almost it's perfect so a little mini dimensional in the middle of that little bow I just want that to sit on the bottom there because I cut it out from the rainbow paper it kind of has that ombre effect I'm not my hair does at the moment <laughs> the bleach to the um dark to the gray to the whatever else is um happening so I'm gonna cut the long stalky bit off that I think too late to change my mind now oh I've done that but they're actually connected to the leaves so I'm just gonna snip that as well seems quite cute if we have a couple of those floating out so yes again cut the little stalk off so I'm just going to pop a couple of those there and then I'm going to have all the flowers around that so quite simple <gasps> just realized it's Wednesday I've got to do the draw for my little challenge and set the next one don't worry I won't put I won't be putting my own name into the draw I popped a little challenge on there because I could and I'm keeping they generally will be kind of color orientated but I'm not going to stipulate stamping up colors because if people haven't got stamping up inks I want them to interpret it based on what they have got themselves at home because not everybody's going to have the full array of inks that I certainly do which is currently moving into my new storage the new um well not that new now the new stamping up ink storage and oh it's just so much easier to also clear a bit of room on my desk because my little twirly thing's fantastic but it does take up a fair amount of room so that's going to go somewhere else to store something else so I've got a couple of little gold bits on there now how many Let's make sure we can see those gold bits as well I'm just thinking putting the bigger one on and then I'll probably use dimensionals to put Let's see, it's only a plaster on my thumb, but it makes simple but cute, I think, if I do say so myself. So again, a bit of glue on the bigger flower that's going to sit on the bottom.
It's an interesting die because there's a bit of uh, it's actually impossible to see. But there's almost like a bit of relief within the die, so it actually gives you some sort of lift. I can't really explain that. Again, fascinating how they design these things. But yeah, you get you get a little bit of detail, relief detail within the flowers. So that's quite cute as well. So that's going to go on there. One of these I stamped, so I'm going to put that on a little mini dimensional. It's quite nice to give a little bit of 3D effect. I'm going to put that sort of there. Oh, it's a bit drunken. Oh, it's a drunken. It's got the drunken flower there. Then I'm going to pop that on with. I'm going to put a dimensional, but panic not. I'm going to put a little centre. So whilst you can, you'll think, oh my god, you can see your dimensional. I'm going to add. See if I can get one of these little monkeys off. My technique of kind of folding over. There we go. Worked dream. A little cinnamon cider. Probably in the middle there. Do I need another one or do I not? Mm. Thinking maybe a teeny weeny one. Maybe up there. Which I think I'll just glue. We can glue it. So either I've got a problem with my Facebook, or you're all very quiet, or I've bored you to death already. Any one of those options. Or it could be all of them. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mind talking to myself. So that's quite sweet. And then I'm going to put a couple of little dots around the place. Yeah, slightly bending. That is definitely the way forward. little one in there and then another oh, I like the cinnamon cider doing <laughs> a little bit more work <laughs> or are you working from home and you're uh, sneaking a bit extra in so I don't mind <laughs> oh I see there's a theme going on now you're playing hooky from work That's fine. You might as well listen to something vaguely interesting or vaguely crazy, I suppose. Don't work too hard. It's nearly the evening. Oh, so, so Facebook's working, so that's fine. I do appreciate that. Thank you. So there we go. One little wreath with a few flowers. And I did a little bit of bling there. I really, I love this rainbow paper. That's quite sweet, isn't it? We're going to now play with the other wreath. I'm wondering what the bird does. Should we find out what the bird does? And when I say what the bird does, I mean what the stamp itself actually does. I've got a little bird cut out. In fact, that's what I brought to the table instead of the bird. But I have a little bird. So, I'm going to try my bird in So I'm going to do the flowers in, I'm not sure I can have a magenta madness bird Let's try the bird in cinnamon cider Will it fit sideways on? No, let's utilise this paper 
Well, that would work quite well in the blue, I think, as well. That's quite cute. So I'm thinking what we might need is a little background and then perhaps that ombre there. Then we need to throw some magenta madness flowers at it, which might go around that side. See, this is why I'm definitely better off chopping bits up. But also, I haven't cut any out. I might. Because the rainbow paper has, if I can get into my pack, has that beautiful pink in it which I think is just perfect for one of the flowers so I'm going to just nip off for a moment get my magenta madness I'm going to cut out and put a bit of ink detail onto that And then the leaf shape of that is almost the same as that. So I definitely think that's going to come into play. And mounting a greeting. Right, let's cut this out. Oh, I need my flower. So excuse me while I wander off. I can't work out how that dye is doing it, but it definitely adds some sort of something. That was a really good description. That was very useful for you, wasn't it? It adds some sort of something. So, my little bird and... Of little flowers in the pink. It's funny when you, when I saw that rainbow glimmer paper, I was very much like, oh my lord, no. And then I'm not even sure what made me order it, but I did. And then I'm like constantly using it now. This is beautiful. Oh, that wasn't the best cut out bird, Murray. Very uh, knackered plates. I've still got to watch your live, Babsy, as well. Your cards were fantastic. I might just have to sponge around the edge of that because I didn't cut that out particularly well. I think my die moved as I didn't have the metallic plates in place. Let's just put those back in the box. So as ever, I've got my dies within my box, although they're now in a bit of a mess. So it was a bigger sheet, so I had to cut it. So I need to. What I need to do is I need to order some more magnetic sheets. So from Amazon I get magnetic sheets that I'm just going around the edge with my sponge just to I don't like the way I did that. I'm not gonna waste him. So that's all good. Um so yes, what I would do with the magnetic sheet is cut the magnetic sheet to the size of the pack and then stick all the bits to it. I am 
are definitely working in a very messy way today. So a couple of little flowers there. And I can't quite explain that you get like a 3D effect on the flower. So again, clever people that's stamping up. So we're going a bit magenta madness with this one. So what I'm thinking, ooh, how about we could stamp the greeting on that and then cut out a top layer I don't think we'll have Ooh, that would be a good use of paper wouldn't it oh, I think we can just do that if I cut that out excellent right so in this instance what colour am I going to put as a I am going to use the magenta madness let me see how many generations we can get out so have a play on a piece of paper one two three third generation's a bit too pale I think I think if I do a second generation little box and then we will use the best wishes and pop the best wishes on in the first generation perfect so then I'm just literally going to use my cutter to cut right close around the edges What I do find is when I'm cutting really small bits like this, I find it better if I line my blade up in the middle. Which doesn't really make sense, I'm not showing you. So if I start in the middle and go either way, I don't get a scrappy edge. Not quite how I'm going to do it with this bit, I don't know. That's very close. I right, just need to neaten that with my scissors. That was just too fine a bit. Right, before we get magenta madness everywhere, take the just out of that sentence, Babsy. We don't use the word just. But yeah, no, it looked just such a fantastic effect, so I will be taking a look later so that still needs that little bit of edge taking off and then I will just I will just <laughs> have a very fine edge of that showing so let's have a look how big I'm wondering if I can fit it into that. I can. So my little square is two and three quarters, so I'll do it kind of three and a bit. Still need to trim. I've got a tiny white edge that I can still see on that little square so there we go and width wise it is four and a quarter so we'll do the uh, four and a quarter so we'll do kind of that so we'll have that's going to go underneath so because I'm gluing onto glimmer paper it definitely needs to be wet glue use my fat end to spread that out a bit more I think I'd had 
that wet glue for gosh I've been using it for years before I realised it had two ends a flat end and a pointy end so what I'm thinking is or what I'm hoping is that by gluing all the pieces on that's what's going to hold that gold piece on because I really don't fancy trying to glue that that would take a brave, patient woman. Which is not me. So I'm going to hold it in place. That is going to go into the centre. I like that little box. Like that, stamping it off and then... Uh, Stamping first generation. So this one's going to be a little bit more glimmery. Might go with the. So what I do have as well is some little extra leaves. And I've got that little bit of gold, which I think is rather sweet. That leaf shape kind of reflects. If you can come out from, how about, oh dear lord, everything's. Oh, this is definitely a set you can have lots of fun with. And definitely at Christmas, I reckon we could add a bit of red to that little uh, bird's breast to make him a little robin. Or I guess he's a, maybe he's a partridge. Partridge in a pear tree. It's actually not that long till Christmas. What was it today? The 16th of June? Oh, six months, six days. Six days, can't even count. Six months, nine days. Nine days. Nine days. Nine days. Oh, the rain! You're talking about the rainbow paper, Kim. That you think is gorgeous. It just, like it has a million and one applications, and these gold bits are beautiful. So again, I'm just putting a little blob of glue on pretty much all the leafy bits just a tiny blob missing a few there And that one's going to be a turn upside down jobby to get that glued. Then, oh, sorry, little birdie. You could just. I'm going to have the ribbon. I'm not sure where I'm going to. I think with the greeting, and we don't need to sit him in. Sorry, Birdie. I like my magenta madness. So a little ribbon there. A little bit of bling going on down there. We can use another little <coughs> mini dimensional. <coughs> put that centrally so I can see a little bit. I'm just going to trim a little bit off where, I've, where it's slightly 
showing. Yeah, Stampin' Up do white dimensionals and black dimensionals. One day we'll need dimensionals in every single colour so that you can't see them. Then, do I have a need to put any of these extra leaves? Don't know they're going to add to it, aren't they? Then, there is also, I think this is a little centre that can go over the flowers. It has a little... So I'm gonna I might put a couple of a nice vibrant magenta madness one and a blingy one and then where's my bone folder? Just going to run my bone folder around the edge of that just to give it a little bit of Dimension. I'm going to glue those two down. Oh, maybe we can have that one in the middle. Then maybe we don't add the other ones. Such a thing as doing too much sometimes, isn't there? I think I might just run with that. So they are two very similar cards, but very different look with the two different colours. A myriad of options. In colours, and I'm obviously sticking to one colour, you could do every single colour. Definitely needs... So this kind of, a lot of these new ones to me, these first ones will be kind of, this is my what I shall class as my first look. Then I shall play more. And uh, see what else I can come up with. Because yesterday's one, I absolutely loved the um, coffee chocolate cocktails but didn't use the dyes for that one so there's a whole raft of opportunity there so yeah we'll, basically, we'll go around in a circle we'll play with all my new ones then we'll circle back round play with them again see what else we can come up with I do love this gold laser cut paper. I most definitely am going to need to purchase some more of that. So I'm just putting a little magenta madness enamel dot. Yeah, definitely the technique with the enamel dots is to fold it and use your pick. I find it easier with the pick tool. Stamping up um, development suggest using the spatula, but it didn't work so well for me. So just be careful and play with them and see what works for you better. But they are just beautiful. So there we go. Two quick little cards, both on the little note cards. Oh, I know the other thing that I didn't do yesterday was I didn't decorate my cards on the um, on the live, so I should decorate the cards, decorate the envelopes. So let's get a couple of envelopes and play with, there's a flower and some leaves. So we want one to coordinate with our Magenta Madness one. God only knows what mess you can see. You can pretty much see I'm working in chaos. But so what we're thinking is a couple of little flowers with 
couple of leaves floating off the edge. So my leaves are going to be in the Just Jade because I'm featuring the new in colours. Ink the centre off of that. So I'm just going to... A couple of those floating off. Move your envelope from underneath. Do one at a time. So just a couple of leaves floating off. And the nice thing about decorating the envelope is the recipient knows there's something a bit extra special in there. So a little get rid of the chuck the ink pad before you throw your whole hand in because my whole hand nearly went into that one. So we have magenta madness with the rainbow paper, so we've got a kind of ombre effect new word for today not to use it rather a lot um and these these backgrounds in the gold laser cut really do just stay in place but as long as you're using glue and you're gluing other things on that's going to hold that nice and strongly so there we go one card with a little envelope so on this one we need the bumblebee and the jade We use the other leaf this time. Where's the other leaf? So there's a little twin leaf, so we'll see what that looks like. I've lost my envelope now. There it is. Always make sure your envelope's the right way up as well before you start decorating it. I need to clean this off. Hang on, I'm just going to tip off. So the magenta madness will hang on. I think we've managed to get it all off. Just making sure that's off before I start stamping with my bumblebee. Might do more of a collection. In that corner. Just whatever you fancy. Just popping some. Oh, that's quite sweet, isn't it? Popping a few leaves around the place. Oh, I definitely see an opportunity for some masking. So there we go. A couple of little envelopes. Yeah, everybody knows then they've got happy mail. So yep. <laughs> One day I'm going to become a tidy crafter. Nah, it's never going to happen. So there we go. One featuring Magenta Madness and one the Bumblebee. So as you can see, there's two different wreaths. These are the cutouts I haven't used. There is a stamp that I don't think coordinates with either die from the look of it, but I'm not 100% sure, so I haven't tried that out. But anyway, those are die cut. And I've added a little bit of the gold from the laser cut paper and I think my favourite might be the magenta madness I just love that gold lovely lovely anyway there you go two little cards for today with two envelopes because I forgot to decorate my envelopes yesterday so I am going to tidy my desk up a bit now so thank you very much for joining me I hope you have a lovely evening stay dry Thank you very much, ladies, and I will see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye.